Microsoft SQL Server Transactions A transaction is a set of one or more Transact SQL statements that are treated as a single unit of work and recovery. The unit must execute entirely or not at all. There are two kinds of transactions in SQL Server, implicit and explicit. With an implicit transaction, each insert, update, or delete statement executes as a transaction. An explicit or user-defined transaction groups statements between begin transaction and commit transaction statements. You can also cancel or roll back a transaction if you need to. Every transaction is recorded in a transaction log to maintain database consistency. The log is a storage area that automatically tracks all changes to a database. Modifications are recorded in the log on disk as they are executed before they are written in the database. Modifications are stored in an internal format. Let's look at what's happening conceptually inside the log. A begin transaction marker indicates the beginning of a transaction, and a commit transaction marker indicates the end. SQL Server performs checkpoints at defined intervals. Checkpoints are marked in the transaction log to identify which transactions have already been applied to the database. When a new checkpoint occurs, all transactions since the last checkpoint are written to the database. This frees up log space and shortens recovery time. The recovery process runs automatically every time that SQL Server starts, such as for an intended shutdown or a power failure. The automatic recovery process uses the transaction log to roll forward all committed transactions and to roll back any incomplete transactions. The log uses the last checkpoint as a starting marker. To summarize the key points, a transaction is a single unit of work that must commit entirely or not at all. A transaction log records all changes to a database. This guarantees consistency and aids in recovery.